efflorescent sol soluble salts on the surface can look very similar to lime bloom but you'll know the difference by wetting the wall. If you wet the wall and they disappear then they're a soluble salt and you should leave those to weather away naturally. You shouldn't have tried to remove them using an acid or else you could make it worse. So just wet the wall. If they disappear completely then it's a soluble salt. If you can still see the white bloom on the surface so it's more likely to be a lime that's causing the problem like in these examples shown here. Sunbrick acids come at about 10% or 8%. Just check on the back, it should say. But for this one we're using an 18%, which is quite a strong one. And then we're diluting that 50-50 with water to produce a 9% solution of hydrochloric acid. And you should always add the acid to the water, not the other way around. These churn brushes are ideal for brick cleaning, they're natural bristle and they work a lot better for applying the acid to the brickwork and just make sure you've got your gloves on and your goggles. Cement based mortar should be allowed to cure for at least 28 days before any acid cleaning is carried out. Natural hydraulic lime mortars, NHLs, which are becoming more popular and are more prone to whitening require a longer curing time. These mortars must be allowed to carbonate and harden for at least 56 days before any acid cleaning is undertaken. And this is just a standard garden hose with a spray attachment and a standard mains pressure. If you hear any noise in the background and thought it was a pressure washer, it's not, that's the jets from the local air base. You have to fully saturate the bricks in the mortar so that when you apply the acid it's only working on the surface and isn't drawn into the mortar or the brick. So it's important to saturate the bricks first. No matter how wet you get it, you've got to get as wet as possible. And as soon as you finish wetting it, you have to apply the acid quickly and only on, leave on for about 20 seconds at the most. So wet it fully from the top and all the way down. I'm going to apply the acid starting from the top. You see it fizz up. It fizz as it's neutralising the line. So once it's done that, only a matter of seconds, you then rinse it down. Right down to the bottom. And you can see here where the acid is neutralised it and not here. We could have done all the tops, so that's right. So now we're going to do this section here. So wet it all again. Because you never want the wall to dry out.
you can see it's exposed the aggregate, but it's still hard because it hasn't attacked the mortar.